What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kazo. You know how I do. A day all day about six in. It's whatever. Today, we're going to make some motherfucking chimichangas. Chimichangas, chimich whatever the fuck you want to call them. We're going to make some of them. So, here we go on some real shit. Alright? Ready? Here we go. Alright. So... You get your heat preheated about, put it on eight, get that shit nice and, you know, ready. Take your hand, brother. Get it out of the refrigerator, you thing. Dump some of your hamburger in here like this here. This shit, when you do it right, it makes about eight of them. Hey, nigga, no. It makes about five of them. It makes about five of these shit. <coughs> shit, here we go. Well, that might not even make five. This side, right, whatever. Alright, so today, we got some sour cream. Okay, we got some lettuce. We got some fucking... Torta shells or fucking tortilla shells, whatever the fuck those are. Yeah, we got some tortilla shells. Okay, and we got some motherfucking Mexican cheese. Okay, so what we want to do? Is we want to brown the hamburger. Okay. I probably should use a little bit more than this because I'm going to have to use a whole pack of the seasoning. So, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm going to use some more hamburger. That's dang. Let's use some more. This shit cost me 837 for the hamburger. So, it's whatever. But that ain't that expensive. I was going to buy one that cost like 13 something, but I was like, man, do I really need that much fucking hamburger? Hmm. Huh. Maybe. Well, not today, though. I've already made about motherfucking, what, five, six of these fucking things already. So, here's another, like I said, another episode of it. This is, this, this is the drunk version of fucking... Cooking with Kazo making chimichangas. Cause y'all know you love to see me drunk making fucking food. And I definitely can do it when I'm fucked up. Sorry, I hop is whatever, but hey, you know, I was really, really, really fucked up that night, but it's whatever. That's a whole different subject though. We ain't gonna talk about that. So anyway, you get your hamburger all fucking Nice and browned up. Ground up hamburger is browned up. I figured out an easier way to make these damn things than fucking just throwing them in the fucking fryer just like that. You actually take a fork or take two forks and push them down. And when you push them down, you get something that looks like this. This is for work tonight. Get something that looks like that there. I mean, you probably can't see it, but... Yeah, let me try to take one out. See that right there. That's how it looks, usually. But, like I said, there's two versions to this shit. And we're gonna do the drunk version right now. And see if the drunk version comes out better than the damn fucking fake version does. Well, you know how cooking the case of is. So, keep on slugging down my beer. Here. So you want to cook up that hamburger and get it really browned up. Okay. Really browned up. I want to put that heat a little bit higher than that too. Cause there we go. Right there. 
And this time, I think we're going to leave in the fucking oil. Fuck it. We're just going to leave the oil in there. Because last time, we drained the fuck. Well, we might drain a little bit out. And like I said last time in the last video, that uh, we had the onions and we put them in the water. Well, that actually works. I ain't going to lie about it. That actually works. That actually comes out really nice. I already got that. If you want to check it out, you can check it out in the other video about how I made the onions and shit and whatever. But this one here ain't going to be like that one. This one's going to be a little bit different. Well, the subject's going to be the same, but you know, it is what it is. So we're going to cook up the hamburger and get that shit really nice. Here we go. You see that, right? You see it all cooking up. Yeah, take a look at that. Bang. See it cooking up. Hopefully, there ain't no fire like there was in the last one. Or the first one, or whatever the fuck it was. Okay, so we got that all browned up. It's browning up. It's browning up really nice. Here we go. Browning up really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Here we go. Here we go. Brown that bitch up. Brown it up. Okay. So, got that all browned up. Now, we about to drain out, because there is a little too much fucking grease in there. There is too much grease in there. So, we're going to take some of the grease out. We're going to dump it over here. You know, dump the fucking hamburger out with it. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's good. Leave a little bit of grease in there. Not much. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to look for our damn fucking seasoning or whatever the fuck that's at. I know I got another one right there. Something like that. Another seasoning packet. Uh, where the fuck is that? I don't know. Probably gonna use that other one that I had there. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck it, we use half of this one. This is, this is, nah, it ain't really half, but. Nah, we're gonna use the rest of this one. Because I can't find the rest of it. So we wanna turn the heat down now, because it's getting a little. a little high. Okay, so we wanna dump that in there like that. Throw that shit in the trash. Mix it around. Get it all nice and round up. Hmm, I can smell it already. It smells really good. Take a sip of my bed. Quit that shit real quick, man. Yep. I'm already about what? One, two, three, four, five, about six in, seven in right now. So, and I get these tall cans too, because so if you think about that, that's basically two beers right there. So, we're going to brown it up. We're going to get it really nice. All will brown up shit, you know. Do the damn thing with it. Okay. So. We got our meat now cooked. I'm sure y'all can do that on your own, it ain't that fucking hard like I said in the last video, but I was just going to show y'all how to do it first, without burning it, and mind you, I'm fucking drunk right now, and I made it better than I did last time, I didn't need to use no water this time, I didn't need to use shit, okay, so you want to set that shit off the side, because we obviously done with that, so, hopefully ain't no fucking fire this time, like last time, but that's okay. Let's take this chimichanga out of the way, shall we? Put that over there. Okay, so we got the mixture right there. It's already preheated, preset. Now, I'm going to turn this shit off. Alright. So, take another swig. Uh, okay. Want to take the tortilla shell. Take the tortilla shell out. This here, if I fucking can even get it out without ripping the damn thing. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, you want to take a shout out like that? Okay. Now you want to put this motherfucker in the microwave for about, let's say, three seconds. Ah, not three, three minutes, three seconds. Just to heat it up a little bit to get it right. I mean, you can do it on that too, but. Now let's take a little bit longer. It's probably. Uh, roughly five seconds. We'll go five seconds on cooking. Okay. Good. That's good. Alright. So now, your fucking tortilla shell is heated up. So in my stove oven. So I gotta remember that. Okay. Like the last fucking video where I burned that fucking plate. That <laughs> shit was crazy. Alright, so you wanna take your mixture. Which is hot as a motherfucker. <laughs> you probably want to use a spoon for that shit. Alright. So you want to put that in there like that. Get it in there. Bam. Bam. You just want to... Not a thin layer, but you want to you wanna layer of it to... You know, sit over the top like that. Okay. Now I'm all out of avocado. My avocado I already ate and whatever. So that's totally out the fucking picture now. But anyway, so you want to like make it into a mound. Alright. So you want to make it into a mound. Now, you're going to take the fucking cheese. And put the cheese on the top. The Mexican fucking cheese. Alright. So. We take it like that. Put the Mexican cheese on the top. I already got the spoon and everything. I ain't gotta go looking for it. Nothing like that. It's already fucking pre- Pre-logged in. Okay, now, so we're good with that. Now we want to take the cream cheese, or the sour cream rather, not the cream fucking cheese, the sour cream, and lace it on the top like that. See how nice that came out? That is so much better than the first one. Okay, so you get that like that because it's been sitting out for a little bit. I mean, not long, but it's been sitting out, so it, it you know, I don't know what the fuck it does, but good let's put it that way okay so we got that all set right there now we're gonna take some of the onion in the refrigerator I think yes it is we're gonna throw some of the onion on the top like this here bam so and I ain't gonna make two this time I'm only make one to show y'all how it works because when I made two last time, it fucked up, and I couldn't. When I put it in the fryer, it didn't. It didn't work right. Uh, my cigarettes almost out. Put that motherfucker out quick. Okay, so now let's get cooking. Literally. All right. You want to get some lettuce? Okay. Grab you some lettuce off the top like that. Crunch the lettuce up if you want. I mean, you don't have to. It's whatever. Okay. And then just dump it on the inside like that. Okay? Now, this is kind of the hard part, but the easy part at the same time. All you really have to do is just take both ends, both flaps right here, and just fold them in like this. Okay? And then just take your two fingers, like this, and just fold up, like this. And push in. And you want to tuck this tight. You want to tuck this tight, because if you don't tuck this tight, it's not going to work right. So you want to tuck that tight, and then you want to push it in and just keep turning. Until you got something that looks like that there. See? wraps right around the whole thing just wraps right around and then you want to take your fryer put it in your fryer like that 
Okay. Now, this is what I found the best way and the handiest way to make this work. Take a drink of your beer. That's the best way to make it work. Okay. What we want to do is we want to take this, take these two forks. We want to push this down. All right. Put your put your thing in or your your chimichanga in, and then push it down and hold. Ah, that one fucked up. That one fucked up. Ah, wicked bad. Wicked bad. That one didn't. I didn't. I didn't hold that one right. That one got fucked up. Wicked bad. This one is a is a no go. This one. This this one is garbage. This one did not work for shit. We're gonna throw this one in the fucking trash. This one is bullshit. I mean, it's not bad, but see what happens is right there. The curl, the curl does not line up, and you can't hold that. And when you can't hold that, then. Uh, it obviously does not come out right. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It doesn't it doesn't hold right. All right, so we're going to do this again. And then we're going to take this one out of the fucking way. This time we're going to do it a lot fucking slow. Okay. Me being this smart ass thinking I knew everything for a minute there, but it's okay. We ain't even gonna put it in the fucking thing. How about that? We ain't even gonna put it in the in the microwave. Fuck that. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna take some of our shit. Hamburger. Put it in the thing. Okay. This one will work. I know this one will work. Alright. This one will definitely work. I know this one will this one will go. That last one I might even recook. I don't know, but for the viewer's sake, you don't want to make it like that. That that is not the way to do it. We'll take some cheese. I did it last time. Take the cheese out, put some cheese on top. Okay. Bang. How about that? Now take your sour cream, put your sour cream on top. Okay. Yeah, just like last time, just like last time. But see what's gonna happen like last time is we're gonna drop it a lot slower than we just did. Cause I dropped that bitch mad quick. I should have dropped that slower than that, but you know. Slow goes the way of the buffalo. So it's alright. But uh like I said, chop up your uh lettuce. Like that there. Like I said, you already know how to do this part. Take this. But I should probably actually I should get a more fucking meat than that. Because it doesn't seem like there's enough in there. Sometimes enough is not too much. You know, and, and, and much is too much. I don't know how to fuck explain it. But. Okay, so we good. Tuck that in there like that. Fold that up there like that. Okay. Make sure you push that back so you have all that in there. Okay. And then you wanna just fold up. Ah! I ripped that bitch. But it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay, so we'll put that in there like that. We're gonna do it a lot slower this fucking time. This time we're gonna do it slower. We're gonna take two forks. I'm gonna put two forks down. These two right here. As I grab another sip of my beer. Okay. Here we go. Push one fork down like this. Put your thing in or your fryer in. Let it go for a little bit. And then push the other one down. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Push those two down. I mean, it's not really hard to do, but it's not really easy to do either. Oh, you bastard. Fucking didn't begin. But it ain't so bad. Still fix it. This one ain't perfect, but it ain't like that one. It ain't lining. It, it ain't getting the line right. Is what's what's happening. But it just might work. 
we just might have something here. And all you really want to do with this grease is just make it, all this grease does is make it more, um, just to brown the, brown the bread. That's all it does. Browns the bread and cooks the bread so you're not eating a pure, a pure, uh, flour tortilla shell. You're eating actually something that has a little taste to it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love flour tortilla shells, but I love flour tortilla shells when they cook. I'll... I'll teach y'all how to do the egg too. The egg is woo. That is that is the shit right there. So we round it up like that. Try to make it stay. Hopefully it stays not positive it's going to, but maybe yes, I think it's going to. Flip it over like that. Got a little pink in it, but it's okay. Turn it down. I mean, that one ain't so bad. That's not... Needs a little more cooking, but... It ain't too bad. I if you have to just hold it to the side like this to keep the bread down. Because if you don't... It, the shit's just going to go everywhere. And you kind of don't want that. You don't want a bunch of... Uh, product inside your uh, fryer like this here. That wouldn't be too good because then you have to go clean it out and all that other bullshit. You don't want that. Let's put it that way. You just don't want that. I can feel it hardening up already so it should be good. It should be alright with this one here. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Just hold it down for a little bit. I feel it hardening up. It's okay. Like I said, if I had the salad tongs, it would be a lot fucking easier. I don't have salad tongs right now. Ooh, that would burn up nice. Look at that bitch. Woo! That came out fucking nice. Okay, so let that burn up. See now what I'll do here is I hold it like this and now try to maneuver it. It's already done anyway. I don't even need to maneuver it. Usually you flip it, but I don't need to flip shit because it's already done. So we're gonna take this one off because this one didn't come out right. Man, man, I already have one of these bitches and. I Dude, I'm so full right now. I couldn't even eat another one if I wanted to. I really couldn't. Um, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna see y'all come out. And that right there is the finished product of a chimichanga. And that thing, wow! I'm telling you, like it is packed. It is packed with shit. Like if I cut that open, you, I ain't gonna cut it open because I, I ate the last one. And man, I couldn't eat this one if I fucking wanted to. There's no way. And I'm about to give this to somebody anyway, because they probably come out of my house in a little bit anyway, so I'll probably give that to them and be like, yo, you try this shit, dog. And they'll be like, yeah, that shit is the dope shit. And I might even make a video about that. Who knows? But, like I said, there right there is a fucking chimichanga. Um... I can't, I can't explain it no more. Like I, I couldn't tell you. So, like I said, uh, check out my video or not my video. Check out my my video. Yeah, check out all my videos. You know where they're at. I ain't gonna even put the link bullshit. Put a link here, a link there. I ain't gonna do that. You know the fucking videos. You know what it is. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what's up. You know who I am. Kazo cooking with Kazo always. Justin P. Fucking split personality. Whatever. But, um, that's how you do it. That, look at that cheese. That cheese is chilling. I'm going to eat that. 
Mm. That's good as fuck. Not just a little piece of Mexican cheese. Imagine what that shit tastes like on the inside, dog. Bam. But like I said, this is cooking. This is cooking with queso, and uh, this is the drunk version to it. So y'all have fun. It's like what four oh eight in the afternoon right now. I ain't got no fucking sleep, no nothing. But it's okay. I've been drinking all night or all day. Night is my day. Your day is my night. However that works, your day is my night, your night is your day. I don't know, it's whatever, it's something like that. My day, my day is, my day, my night is your day. Your day is my night. That's how it goes, because I work third shift. But, anyway, like I said, this is how it comes out. This is fucking awesome. I'm going to give this to one of my buddies, and psh, what I'm telling you, he's going to be like, damn, that shit is good as fuck. But, it is what it is. Cooking with queso. Next week, I'm going to have how to make jalapeno poppers. That's what I'm going to do. And um, I'll see you next time. Be easy, y'all.